Today we're fishing in a winter wonderland and the only thing I'm wondering is why we're doing this. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I'm out here with Captain Mark Kornoski. We're bouncing around on Lake St. Clair. <laughs> Mark runs a uh, guide service. It is Treble Maker Fishing Charters. I will have his particulars in the description below. And the wind is probably terrible right now because as you can see, well, there's Ben Stone. He's bouncing around up front, <laughs> trying not to fall in. Um, yeah, we're out here fishing some big water people, looking for some big fish. It is the fall time of the year, uh, late November, so this is when all the big fish get caught. That's what we're shooting for. We got a couple nice fish yesterday uh, in snowy conditions. It's trying to spit a little bit of snow here. We've got 10 to 20 mile an hour winds right now, low 40 degree water temps. And uh, my hand that is holding the camera is about to fall off because it's so cold. So I'm going to put it down and start fishing. All right, everybody. I'm going to uh, throw a Poseidon uh, with a nine foot shock and awe with the tranks. Uh, we've got some really rough seas and hopefully we can just eke one fish out of this before we have to bug out. So that's what I'm throwing and uh, let's see if we can get a big one. Baby. Oh yeah. Back up. This. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. It's alright, it's alright. Look at that fish. Thick, Thick. Look at that fish. Get in here, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Way to go, Bob. This is why you come to St. Clair. This is why you fish in this ridiculous stuff. It's for something like this and bigger. Let's, uh, I'm going to flip around. See what, you, see, what you see what she goes. Oh, you called it, man. 47. 48? 48 and a quarter, maybe. Nice. All right. Yeah, man. All right, Ben. Where's the best place? Probably. Put her back here. Oh goodness. There, there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> Yes! Wow, that was so cool. 
Thank you, dude. That hit. <laughs> I set the hook and it felt like the bottom of the lake. That's awesome. That was amazing. Let's do that again. <laughs> Whew. I'm just glad it was worth it that we came all this way. Right. <laughs> fish Ben had a fall so it was sort of worth it. It was completely worth it. I caught a four footer and four footers and I think it's more than that now. <laughs> yeah. Alright <laughs> I gotta um I, I don't even know what to say. We, You know how I said a winter wonderland? We're in it right now. <laughs> Michigan, it's a winter wonderland. It is, it is snowing uh, like a son of a gun, I well, guess. Well, you is know, the weird things happen. Michigan beat Ohio State. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things could happen, folks. Um, we vacated the spot where I caught the 48 because, quite honestly, it was getting dangerous uh, to be there. Um, we got some pretty neat footage of waves coming over the <laughs> front of the boat, but it just, it wasn't safe to fish. It wasn't fun anymore. So we had to kind of take the long way around to circumnavigate, uh, the lake, uh, safely. And we are back on the West shoreline out of the wind, but into the snow, as you can see. <laughs> so we've got uh, a plan to fish close to shore here. Uh, we've marked some fish on side imaging, so same thing applies, medusas uh, and swim baits. So that's what we're going to do. Well folks, if that doesn't make you want to go fishing on Lake St. Clair at the end of November, I don't know what will. <laughs> uh, that was one of the craziest boat rides I've been on and I've been on some crazy ones before. Um, if you're going to come out here, I highly recommend hiring a guide such as Captain Mark or any one of the other you know guides out here but uh, um, just to play it safe you know don't come out here and just think you're gonna uh, you know beat the wind and the waves on Lake St. Clair they will beat you yeah, this, uh, this so, time of the year is you gotta play it right yep yeah what you're is, doing this is a spooky time of year if you're in the water you're toast probably so um, you know you just have to make sure everything is running perfectly with your boat to do this sort of thing. That being said, uh, a 48 for me today, so I sort of redeemed myself from yesterday, so that was cool. Uh, ben had a follow, so we had contact with a couple of fish. We've got some fishing to do tomorrow. Uh, we're going to lose Mark, but Ben and I will be in my boat, uh, giving it a shout out here. We've got a plan. We've got a couple places to go. So with yeah. that, that was fun, man. Thank uh -huh. you so much. I will have Mark's particulars in the description below if you would like to come out here and hire a guide and do this the safe way and the fun way.
Mark is a blast. <laughs> it's a blast to fish with. Right. We had we had so much fun, uh, just just fishing. You know, the catching's great, but just fishing with somebody uh, like Mark and, and Ben is, is such a blast. Um, so yeah, with that, we need to go warm up. Yeah, we need to cold. get some food. <laughs> Big and, thanks to Mike. Yeah, and, and my big thanks to Mike Ducci for letting us uh, use his boat. So, um, with that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video.